What's poppin' T-Substitute Squad? So, Bell Collective, honey. Season 3, Episode 9, Best Revenge is Your Paper. So, Leticia is having um, pizza, having a little pizza date with her mama and her son. Um, so, Leticia got a book out called Why Are Sad Chicks Winning? I think your book need to be called What the Hell Does Leticia Really Do for a Living? Um, I feel as though that's what your book need to be called. It should be a memoir so you can better explain exactly what your job description is. Because first you was an author. Well, no. First you was doing these tad ass brunches. Then you now you was an author and all of the rest of this stuff. And you got a whole enterprise when I just thought you was a bail bondsman. So what exactly is it do you do, Leticia? That's that's what your book need to be, a memoir. Um more more so a resume of exactly what it is that you do for a living so that it can better understand exactly why you need to be up amongst these other women. Because at this point, like, I, moving on, uh, <laughs> moving on. So Letitia tells her about what happened with Glyph, call, Cliff, I mean, calling Glendale and about him asking her, you know, when is she ever going to get over the situation? Listen, Leticia, you are the one that's still deciding to put up with the foolishness with, with, with Glendale. All right. Nobody is making you do this shit. You're still doing this shit. So, I mean, you know, should he be trying to force you to move on? No. But again, this wouldn't be happening if you wouldn't be entertaining. Now, granted, I understand Granny died and, you know, my sympathies for him for Granny dying. But Granny dying don't mean that you need to go and jump back into anything with that damn man. All right. You could be there for him from a distance because that's exactly what I would do. I would be there from a distance. I'll be there, but from a distance. Moving on, um, because I feel like you like this shit. So let's not even go there. Moving on. Akeisha and Willie. I'm going to be real with y'all. I like Akeisha, but she's just not giving much of nothing. All right. Um, because all of your scenes is the same. It's you and Willie at home and y'all talking. Um, you got hypertension. Listen, that plagues a lot of us, child, because I got it. Just make sure you stay on your medications. Yeah, eat right, exercise. Girl, you'll be all right. Um, this whole thing with Fair Street. Um sick of hearing it. All right. Now, I'm sorry to hear about your first proposal falling through. And it is good to know that you have another proposal that came to you. But um, other than that, what else do you got going on around there, Akeisha? Like, Lord have mercy, Jesus. Like, I need something to happen. I'm going to need for you and Willie to get into a fight, an argument or something. I'm going to need for you to pick an argument with that man or do something to be a whole lot more interesting. Because it, it, and, and, and I like Akeisha, but I'm just going to be real. Moving on. Star and her star, her husband and her new son EJ. That's my little cousin, if y'all can hear her. Um, anyway, Star, her husband, and um her new baby EJ, who is so adorable. Shout out to Star, her husband, and baby EJ. He is so adorable. Shout out to Star. Um, you're gonna be a great mama because you have a lot of great examples in your life, sis. So I'm here for it. So Star ain't ready to allow Sophia slash Shantae slash So Gucci to see baby EJ and I'm on her side. I am. And she and not only am I on her side, she on her mama's side, as she should be. JJ, I got an issue, friend. Because my thing of it is, how could you possibly sit here and think that anything in your family is ever gonna be the same after you allowed your wife to go and press charges and put this woman out on papers for a situation that she helped create? She helped start it. She helped curate it. She helped it boil over. And because the situation didn't go the way she thought it was going to go, now she wants to go and put her on papers. Again, I hate to bring it up, but we got to. It's the, it's, it's Candace and Monique from season five of Real Housewives of Potomac. And I know a lot of people ain't going ain't gonna to like it, but fuck you. All right. The truth is the truth. And the T is the T. Don't get mad with me. It's the truth. Candace went over there and helped create help create her drag tation. And this is this and this she want to go and run off and go and, 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 and try to put Monique on papers. No urshin. You understand? And it's the same situation as it is with Sophia and that's the way I damn see it. Get mad. Don't give a shit. 
That's the way I see it. This is my channel. I can bring up what the hell I want to bring up. And if I want to bring up Caesar Five with the Red Housewives of Potomac, then God damn it, I'm going to bring up Caesar Five with the Red Housewives of Potomac. Especially when both of the situations are mutually exclusive of one another. And it is. I can't stand when people do that. So because you lost, now you want to go and put her on papers. Because I believe if the shoe was on the other foot and you was the one that put a knot on Selena's head, you wouldn't be carrying your ass around there to the precinct. So cut it out. JJ, my whole thing is you're the common denominator in all of this shit. Why would you think that it was ever going to be okay for her to go and put... I could see if it was a situation where Sophia slash Shantae slash Soguchi did absolutely nothing. And then Selena just came in out of nowhere like a tyrant and started laying hands and feet on her. Then I would understand that happening. But that's not the situation here. For y'all to keep trying to carry on this narrative is trash to me. Moving on. Latrice goes to do aerial fitness with um, Mandy and Josh um, so they could talk clear to Ed. So Latrice feels like loyalty, loyalty is big to her, and she feels like Josh was being disloyal when he went to Aikisha's event. One, again, and I said this on Twitter, was Josh in the wrong? Perhaps. Perhaps. But at the end of the day, Latrice, you constantly want something that you don't give to other people when it comes to your husband. You feel as though your friends are supposed to have this undying loyalty to you no matter what. But yet, when it comes to your husband being disrespectful to them, you're going to stand by your damn husband. But then you want all of this loyalty from them. No, 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 Latrice. It don't work like that, sis. And it don't matter how much damn money you got. And it don't matter how many damn bundles you selling and peddling off in these damn vending machines, girl. Life just don't work that way. If you want loyalty, you have to give damn loyalty. That's just the way I see about it. So please don't come up around me, talk about loyalty this and loyalty that when you show absolutely none to these damn people and it for your damn husband. Moving on. Now, I, now here it is. I didn't even think I was going to be on Josh's side because I started this off saying I will fool with Josh. But once I seen this go on, you know what? Josh really ain't that bad. And you left Josh no other recourse. And Mandy, girl, sit down. I believe Josh when Josh says, y'all don't talk like that, so why the fuck would he call you to victor you, gruh? Y'all ain't tight like that, like that, like that. And if he felt more tighter with Akeisha, then it is what it is, sis. I mean, hey, uh, look, that, look, that's the way I see it, and I don't give a damn who feel away about it, because I said what the hell I said. And to the people that's getting into my comments on the other videos, talking about something, did I see the bruises on Latrice's arm? Nope, absolutely not. I ain't seen that nay bruise, not nay nick, not nay scratch, not nay pinch, not nothing. No punch, no kick, no shove, no her pulling, no windmilling, no traces or evidence of it. I didn't see it. Now, if y'all saw it, that's on y'all. I ain't see shit. Ego, I stand by every damn thing I said last week and tonight. Moving on. Akeisha meets up with Sophia to walk the trail and to catch up. So Sophia tells her about pressing charges on Selena and, not, and about not meeting baby EJ yet. Yet, try never. Try never. Because if I was starring Scott or Sanjay, it would be the same thing. Girl, you will never see my goddamn child if I got any motherfucker thing to do with it. And if that means JJ can't see him, dead or well. Since everybody want to stick up for their mamas around here, then I don't see what the damn problem is. That's how I feel. Moving on. Um, Akeisha tells her about her hypertension, child. Take your blood pressure medicine, eat, 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 eat some carrots, some, some raw celery stocks. You know what I'm saying? Eat the cucumber, not shove it up your new, you know what? Eat the cucumber. Um, and if you don't got that girl, take you an Excedrin or something, or, or, or a BC powder or something like that, girl. Take, take, take you, take, take you a turmeric pill or saying like that, you know, cause that help regulate your blood pressure too. Girl, you'll be all right. Um, Sophia tells her about Cliff calling Glendale on Leticia. Um, fine. I guess y'all got to have something to talk about. So fine. I'll let y'all have that. But I stand by everything that y'all said as well. Cliff was wrong. It's two left shoes. And, you know, it just is what it is. Um, Akeisha wants to invite 
so Gucci slash Sophia slash Shantae and JJ to a double date. And we finna get to that now. Because not only does she invite them, she invites the Rogers as well. Listen, I appreciate it. Because what this scene shown is that y'all ain't got no real issue with one another. What happened between y'all was just an unfortunate circumstance. But it's, it, it should not have gotten to this point. Because it's obvious that y'all two can sit up amongst each other, have good conversation, eat, socialize, lala gag. Like, well, y'all prove that down to Sophia slash Shantae slash So Gucci's um, birthday party. Y'all prove that then. And I've always felt that y'all's situation was never that damn deep. All right. Listen, Sophia slash Shantae slash So Gucci, next time you need to draw up a contract. See, if this is what you do in real life, you would have had a contract. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, Latrice, if she was your homegirl, you could have gave her a heads up in a common courtesy call, no matter how you feel. All right. Yeah, you say you can work with anybody you want to and you damn well can. But considering that y'all has some type of friendship, a friend would be looking looking for a phone call versus finding out through the grapevine that she won't do it too fast. You understand? And you hope that she feel much better. Yes, you do. You understand? Um, Shout out to uh, Brownstone. But I appreciated the scene. Y'all was able to talk, conversate, lay some stuff down on the table, lay some truths down. Y'all was able to listen to one another. It wasn't a whole bunch of yada yada yik yik and won't a whole bunch of calamity and table throwing and, 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 and spitting and cussing and hitting and, and, and all of the rest of that. And it seemed as if all of y'all as a couple had a really great time. I totally appreciated that. Kudos to Aikisha for bringing y'all two together. And maybe now y'all both will realize how stupid and how small and how trivial what y'all had going on was. Because it really was. I mean, it, it was. It, it did not have to resort to all it is. But um, yeah, y'all, that's it. That's all. I ain't got no more to give y'all, child. We ain't seen Marie. Uh, We ain't seen Tambra. You know what I mean? Um, I guess we're going to get them next week. So that's cool. Um, y'all jump down in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. It was okay. It was okay. For Friday night, it was okay. It wasn't bad. So y'all jump down in the comments. Let me know y'all thoughts on the matter. And um, yeah, I'll talk to y'all tomorrow, child, for the less gossip. I moved it from the night till tomorrow. I'm still same time, 7.15 p.m. tomorrow night. Um, Love and Marriage Detroit is also going to come tomorrow night. I'm not going to wait until Sunday. I'm going to just get it done. So Sunday, I ain't got to worry about doing nothing. Sunday is my off day. Um, so, yeah, that's just that for that. And, uh, yeah, y'all, I'm gone. Bye.